All right, I'm going to try to turn this dress into an apron. We'll just see how it turns out. This is a, one of those old Sunday sundresses, I guess you call it. And has a belt with it, so we're going to see what we can do with it. And um, I'll get that started and we'll see how it, the end result is. So I've got this old dress and obviously it's not a dress that was meant for me. It's a very small dress. I, I got it to do a photo shoot with my daughter-in-law and forgot I had it and actually never ended up using it. So hopefully this will work. It's uh, not really the best dress, not what I would have in mind for making an apron. Okay. This is the back part of the dress, and we're going to keep that because we're going to use it. This is the front part of the dress. Now, let's see. This Obviously, this is way too long for an apron. So, what I want to do is cut to make it a reasonable sized apron. inches. I'm going to use a marker. It's not going to matter anyway. It's not going to show up. So I'm just going to mark that 14 inches. You're going to need to be really careful with this part. So luckily this dress has front seam, middle seam, and a back middle seam. So it lines up pretty evenly. You just want to fold it over and make sure it's lined up even. I'm not going to mark this with the ruler. I'm just going to put the ruler just above it and I'm going to cut that. Now, I don't have rotary scissors tool leather to cut with. So we're doing the best with what we got. Okay. So now what to do now what to do now I would say that we need to line this bodice together so I'm going to cut the bodice off and um, I'm just going to button this no actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the button off I told you guys it's the first time I'm doing this too so we're going to cut the tags and the button off and cut the top of the bodice off. I'm going to, for time's sake, I'm going to do that off camera. Now. Okay. I've got the bodice cut off and I did cut it. I cut the elastic waistband off. Too. The next thing I want to do is get the neck strap ready. And I'm going to use the belt for that. And hopefully it's going to be enough of it that I can take. I'm going to cut it right about here. And you can take it and wrap it around the neck and strap it in like a belt. So I'm going to... Cut it at about two inches, two and a half, three, that's maybe three inches with that fold over. And I'm going to just take these ends and put a quick zigzag on them. So the next thing we're going to do is hopefully these straps will just fit and I believe they do. I'm gonna lay these on here, and again, I'm gonna I'm gonna pin them, and then I'm gonna tack them down with a blah blah blah. I can't think with a zigzag stitch. So we've got our strap, our neck straps, um, sewn on there. See, I'm learning this as I go along. I think the first thing that we want to do is sew a fold into this because it's. Uh, we're probably not, I'm probably not going to close this up with anything. Maybe a whip stitch, if I can even do that. I'm so bad at hand sewing. If you're new to watching my videos, you may think I'm bad at machine sewing too. So, this, this one, I would say if you're going to do this, pick a dress that's made out of a good sturdy cotton fabric. 
This one is a little flimsy, but it's it's really all I have. I have another dress over there, but it's so nice that I um, wanted to try it this way first before I use that dress to make an apron. It's a little bit different, and the material's a lot sturdier. So, so I'm going to do a straight stitch along the edge of this, and you see I double folded it to make kind of a hem. So let's do that on the sewing machine. I'm just using my, the edge of the fabric as a guide. I'm keeping the, the edge of the foot right on the edge of the fabric. Okay. I did a little bit of off-camera planning. I, this is completely impromptu, y'all, and I, I just had to take a step back and think about it. So, the what I've gone ahead and done is taken um, the skirt and the back part that I cut off, and I've cut a couple of straps, and these are going to be um, turned. So, now what I'm going to do is pin these, and then I'm going to go and sew them down the side and across one top part and, and turn it from the other end. Okay, I've folded the straps over and pinned them together. Now I just need to sew them and then turn them. I'm going to sew across the top and leave the bottom open so that we can turn it. it stays together properly. Ugh, I don't know where my wooden dowel is, so I'm going to use a pencil and just... So what I'm doing is just using the pencil, not the eraser end, I just tried that and you saw that it got stuck. So. This is really easy with this material. With other material, you know, if it's thicker or um, you make a more narrow strap, you're probably going to need to use a wooden dowel, something a little bit longer. I think I have a video on how to turn a strap with the sewing a piece on method. You can do that too if you want to go. I could post a link to it, I guess. I'm just all off kilter today, y'all. Where? Okay. What I've done now is I've taken the um, front part of the apron and sewn over, uh, folded over, and pressed um, the just the bottom sides, not all the way up to the bodice, but the bottom sides. I folded it over twice so that it, you know, leaves a nice clean line on the fold. I'm not going to do the hem right now on the, the bottom hem because I'm actually at this point not decided exactly what I'm going to do. I think I may just do a tight zigzag stitch and add some lace trim but uh, we'll just see how that goes. So what I'm going to do now is sew these down the sides and just close that up and then we'll move on to the next step. I've gone ahead and sewn down the sides of the front of the apron, just the sides. Now, I think that this dress was a little long in the um, bust, in the bodice, so I'm going to add the straps up here, and we're just going to see how it, it looks. 
But I'm going to go ahead and pin the straps on. And um, then I'm going to pin on the, uh, the back of the bodice. And so that... Okay, I definitely uh, am working with this as I go along. So one thing, the one problem is that the back of the dress is higher than the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch from the front part of the apron and then I'm going to cut this part off so that I don't have to do any measuring or anything. So this little step of sewing this close is just not even necessary. So hopefully I'm not going to catch this buckle. It's kind of becoming a little problem that I'm a little worried about. but. I will try to work around it and we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to start um, probably from this side right here and I'm going to sew all the way around until I get to the other side. So I am done sewing all around the apron and I cut the excess from the back part of the bodice off of the dress and I cut some little just little slits in it. You just don't cut the the seam, but you cut in rounded areas and it helps it to uh, lay nice and flat. So I'm going to call this a horrible, horrible disaster, y'all, because I am not happy with it, but it was a kind of a learning thing for me. So I'm going to do another video of this, of making a apron from a dress and we'll see if that one doesn't turn out better. I'm not even going to put any trim on this and I could go in and whip stitch this to the bottom which you would probably do if you're really going to use this for something um, or give it as a gift and you would want to press it real good. This is just a horrible dress to use for this project but it wasn't going to get used for anything else so at least I got to practice on one and um not waste anything. What I did at the bottom was made a tight um, zigzag stitch and went a couple of times across it so that I didn't have to do a, a hem or anything. But um, not too bad. It's just something you have to experiment with. I definitely do. But I'm interested in doing this, turning dresses into aprons because you've got the basic structure of it right there. You just need to, um, you know, take it apart and re purpose it so anyway that is it that's I don't I'm not even gonna humiliate myself and say this is a tutorial it's just um trying something new so I'm gonna put this on my um, dress form over there and see how it looks on the alrighty y'all so this is let me make sure you can see it this is the finished apron. Not too bad when you put it on the dress form and have a good look at it. It's not terrible for a first try. So that's it. That's my little that's my little apron fuck up, y'all. So <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. I will make another one. I have another dress over there, and like I said, it's a better material. It's easier to work with. And I think I'm going to experiment a little bit with a few more of these. And then I will come back and show you another tutorial. And we'll see how that turns out. So that's it. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.